for the introduction, Werner, and uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be part of that awesome event here today. Um, let me start my presentation with a short video about our brand new 7 Series luxury car. Um, I want to show you this one because uh, it gives you a whole flavor of what is in these cars in the future. A whole set of sensors, digital connectivity, cloud-based connectivity, but also a lot of digital experiences. So please watch out. I think many of you know BMW, or hopefully many of you have driven a BMW car. Um, but I, I want to give you some facts and figures, nevertheless. So the BMW Group is the leading manufacturer of premium automobiles and the leader also in mobility services. We have under our hood uh, in the BMW Group three major brands. It's Rolls-Royce, the ultimate luxury car, then BMW and our mini portfolio. And uh, there's about 116,000 people worldwide employed with BMW. We have roughly 30 production and assembly plants in 14 countries, and we have produced the first time more than 2 million cars in 2014, exactly 2.1 million cars. Um, and that was the fifth consecutive record year in a row, and it generated revenues of 80.4 billion euros in 2014. Despite this uh, business success, BMW as a group, and uh, I think also the rest of the automotive industry, is preparing for a future which will be to totally different. There's massive disruptive changes at the horizon. And there are three major trends I would like to, to name here. The first one is autonomous driving. With all its technological challenges, but also regulatory hurdles. The second one is the integration of the car as a really powerful IoT device into the digital life of the consumer in a very, very seamless way. And the third major trend is basically that mobility services, usage-based services are spreading across the world. So what this leads to for the car industry is that there is less differentiation going forward through hardware functionality, what we had in the past. Software and digital services become increasingly important to create value for our customers. They become increasingly a purchase criteria, but they are also a great opportunity for us to tap into new value creation um, opportunities and to capture value. BMW continues to develop its existing infrastructure, IT infrastructure, towards an integrated architecture. So we will keep still for years the traditional IT, but we are also investing in new cloud-based solutions such as AWS. And by doing so, we think through this bi bimodal approach, we can augment the power of our infrastructure. For digital services, digital products, obviously agile development is absolutely key. It allows real-time innovation, cuts development cycles of several years for a car to four weeks release cycles. That's quite a change for the car industry. And um, it, it better allows us to cope with uh, changing customer requirements. Digital also allows us to directly engage with the customer, which we don't have a relationship with right now. And uh, through personalized, highly personalized, and contextualized services, we can really drive a multitude of digital touch points and interact uh, with our consumer in the future. The last point I want to mention in that context is there's obviously also new competitors coming into that space, whether it's the traditional internet companies, or new OEMs like Tesla um, here in the US. I would like to show you now an example of intelligent connectivity and data processing in the cloud, which we call learning maps. And th this is a uh, part of the 7 Series experience. So connected vehicles deliver sensor data derived from all the driver assistance systems into the cloud. We aggregate them and transfer them into the cloud. The digital map information we are using 
is dynamically updated, and uh, the update cycles are becoming shorter and shorter. And this helps to provide fresher, more up-to-date digital map information, not only for the driver himself, but for, for the whole fleet of um, devices out there which are based on the same system. And this on-the-fly updating with sensor data is absolutely key for the future to enable automated driving and highly sophisticated driving assistance functions. As a world first functionality, the uh, new BMW series uh, product supports this interactive updating of digital map databases. So what we do is we basically um, collect anonymous sensor data from all our onboard sensors. We upload them to the cloud services, which in this case are hosted uh, by AWS in Frankfurt. And this data is then being processed together with our digital map partners and leads to a much fresher map with clear consumer benefits because that's what it's all about. So we will have more accurate speed limits on the map. We will have improved road geometries, fewer map errors, and then finally, you will benefit from much better route guidance for all the BMW Connected Drive uh, customers. We call this cloud service car as a sensor or Carasso. Carasso has been architected for very quickly changing load requirements. That was the major challenge for us. Um, we see a very uneven vehicle usage. System load scales up and down over two orders of magnitude within 24 hours. And uh, with the help of services such as Elastic Beanstalk, S3, or SQS, we were able to cope with these requirements, in, especially at a very uh, efficient cost base, uh, which is important for us when we are going to scale that. And that was one of the key reasons why to engage with AWS for this system. Um, an important data point I would like to give you is that by 2018, with a good forecasting we can have in the car industry, um, Carasso will process data from more than 8 billion kilometers driven by a fleet of several hundred thousand vehicles. And if you think about all the sensors in the car and the amount of data which is provided there, it's a pretty, sub a pretty substantial set of uh, data. We were implementing this solution in the cloud for the cloud. And uh, our software team in Chicago, our R&D unit there, was able to build that with AWS services and productize it within just six months which is quite a step forward given the innovation cycles uh, we normally have in the car industry. Agility, flexibility, and scalability. This is what matters to us in the car industry now going forward. And this will help us through cloud services to create digital business models, digital services, which will change the consumer experience and which would help us also to adapt to the uh, new market requirements uh, going forward. Thank you very much.